Greetings, humanity. I'm Jim, and uh, once again, I'm going to be playing Dragon Sphere for a little bit. A game from 1994. Let me let me lower the volume on these these uh, eldritch creatures that are singing in the background. There we go. Um, hello, hi, me. hi. Um, I'm just basically wanted to uh, come in and see if uh, uh, a see if I can figure out the thing with the fairies and and that that we're we're, we're dealing with. And uh, B, also, once again, this is another test of the how are my lungs doing system. Um, yeah, at present, it's uh, it's been one of those things where, like, I'm just sort of going back and forth. I still have the lung demons. It's like three, three and a half weeks later. Uh, I did take a, uh, I, di I did take a COVID test, um, but it was just the, uh, the in-home kit. So it may not be uh, as good at finding the more recent variants, uh, but uh, it uh, it came back negative. Um, so that's hopeful. Also, I haven't been really bad. It's just been like, you know, there's coughing. That's been it mostly. Case in point. So we'll see how this goes. And, and we'll keep going. I mean, I've been... Ah, mostly able to function, I think. So lately, so I mean, and I, I was worse like a week or two ago, uh, but not coughing as much. So I don't know what's happening. Uh, eh. the longer, the longer a time you spend on this earth, the more mysterious things happen to you. That's all I'm saying. So I discovered a couple of things. Um. Since we since we last spoke about this game, uh, I discovered that uh, uh, first off, I think I have a way to get back and forth between the uh, the game and not the game when I have to go do other things in the computer um, without closing the game completely. We will see in a moment. I read up a little bit on DOS Box and found a command, a keyboard command. We'll see how it does. And, uh, what was the other thing? There was another thing that I wanted to... that I discovered. Yes, right! The other thing I discovered was that where we left off, um... Yeah, we... I, I wasn't actually doing things in the quote-unquote wrong order, at least. I wasn't doing it in the recommended order, but I don't think it matters necessarily what order we do the, uh... We, we go to the different places on the map. Um... As long as we go to the <laughs> to the end boss last, uh, so we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the Fey chorus. Let them recede into the background, where they may go forth and frolic as they desire, and I shall call upon them later. All right, so we're gonna do this, and. The thing is, yeah, we're we're gonna I'm gonna need to hop back and forth because we're tackling the fairy puzzle. Heavens help us. Orb. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Yellow. Okay, here we go. I think I can... I can be, like, here. And it'll be okay. So, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there are eight of these. Eight of these critters. And they go back and forth between red, blue, and yellow. There's a bunch of stuff we're gonna need to write down, basically, is what I'm saying. Um... I'm going to try to find a way to do it without losing my mind. We'll see how this goes. This may also depend on how well I am. I, I, I can read uh, tiny print. So let's start with this one 
and just figure it out. My name is Betty. This one is Betty. Betty is currently blue. Tell me something that you know. Only a blue stripe can make it safe for you to cross. Okay, this may be true, this may be false. We will find out. Only a blue sprite can make it safe for you to cross, so saith Betty. Okay. So I'm I I've got I got notes. <laughs> um I'm actually going to put these on another up here in the other thing uh, on the other on the other monitor so that I can look at it. Okay, I remembered that one clearly enough. That's good. So just the notes that I, I copied down, by the way, from the last uh, from our last excursion. Uh, Bart, when red says my sister tells the truth when she's blue, when yellow says some blue sprites always lie, others always tell the truth. Aha. Uh -huh. When yellow, Rachel says, when I am yellow, the sprite who can make it safe for you to cross is red. And when yellow, Ralph says, the sprite who can make it safe for you to cross can do so only when the first letter of its name is the same as the first letter of its color. I haven't gotten all the sprites' names, so we've gotten Bart, Rachel, Ralph, and Betty so far. Um, I'm assuming that these were... <laughs> these were all named out of 50s sitcoms. Um, you had to find a lot of B, R, and Y names, I would assume. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I've got 9 spaces for some reason. There are only 8 sprites. I don't need that, that one there. Okay, good. Alright. I'm going to move this up to the other, the other monitor. If you know the name, then you know which blue sprites lie. Yeah, it's... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to, this is the gathering portion of this, where I'm going to, I'm going to gather up as much information as I can without compiling it necessarily in my brain. Um, and then I will compile it in my brain once, once I have, okay, I can read that. That's good. That's, that will be helpful. Okay. Let's try the trick. Yes! <laughs> Okay. I have no idea which sprite is which. This this is going to be the part where we have the, the roughest time. But the good news is, um, it'll be a situation where we can, uh, where we can at least verify whether they say the same things over and over again. Hi, Lisa. Hi. We're we're playing with a bunch of a bunch of sprites right now. Um. So, what us next? Unfortunately, there's no keyboard shortcut. My name is Ralph. Ralph when blue. Do I have Ralph when blue? I do not have Ralph when blue. I have Ralph when yellow. And my mouse button is no longer functioning for some reason. That's because I gotta click on a thing! Tell me something. Tell me now. something that you know. Okay. Unlike most other sprites, my sister's name doesn't start with the same letter as mine. Good lord, Ralph is long-winded. Okay. Unlike most other sprites, my sister's name doesn't start with the same letter as mine. All right. Here we go. Yeah, I'm going to have to drag this one out so that I can I can see it. Okay. Unlike most other sprites. My sister's name doesn't start with the same letter as mine. I'm gonna I'm gonna put Ralph over in the in the right hand on the right hand side uh, of this spreadsheet so that he stops taking up so much space <laughs> with the. that I can actually... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Is Ralph? Ralph speaks for a long time. Okay. My 
My sister's name doesn't start with the same letter as mine. What does that mean, though? Are they paired in that way? We have Bart and Betty and Rachel and Ralph. How many people have sisters? How many of these are related? Maybe we'll find out as we go. It's one of those, I don't know if you've ever uh, done these uh, done these puzzles. Surely some of you have. Um, where they give you, they're, they're just sort of logic puzzles where they give you a bunch of facts and you have to compare the facts of things that are possibly true. Um, this is a little more complex because you've got all these very uh, all these variables, but we'll see how this goes. Okay, back to full screen. All right, next. Again, I'm just grabbing sprites randomly. My name is Yancy. Yancy, that's a new one. I'm gonna make a line for Yancy in a moment. Tell me something that you know. Yellow sprites always. Truth. And Yancey is blue. Okay. Um, so Yancey, while blue, says yellow sprites always tell the truth. Okay. Alright, alright. Yancey. Yellow sprites always tell the truth. Okay. Alright. Alright. Weird. Is it weird when this pops up? Is there anything on here that is terrifying? No, probably not. Okay, good. All right. Yancy lies! <laughs> well, some blue, blue sprites always lie. Others always tell the truth. If Bart was telling the truth. <laughs> Conspiracies everywhere. Is this, is this puzzle the stream today? This seems like this could be very complex. Alas, yes, this is probably the stream today. <laughs> this is, this is gonna, we're, we're chomping down on this one, seeing what happens. Okay. I've just by default been talking to the closest sprite that I can see. Uh, so we're gonna go here now. Jane, new one, okay. So while yellow, uh, well, yellow. Jane. Tell me something Tell you know. Me something that you know. My brother tells the truth when he's blue. Interesting. Okay. All right, Jane. All right. Jane. Jane. Well, yellow says my brother tells the truth. When he's blue. Okay. We've got only two more names to learn. Um, here. Right in the, yeah, they only tell the truth when their name corresponds to the first letter of their, good God. <laughs> here. Now you seem to be remembering this a lot better than I can, I can tell you that. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've got it in front of me and I can't remember. Therefore Yancy lies. <laughs> I have to I have to make sure that the per people who told me those things are telling the truth. That's the thing. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> I haven't compiled the data in my brain. Uh, so we're doing it. We're doing it. Let's see. Okay. That was Jane. Yeah. Let me begin it again. Okay. All right. Talk to whoever this is. My name is Jim. Hi, me too. Okay. You just like hissing Yancy lies for right now. That's understandable. I don't know if I'm going to be able to remember this name. Um, tell me something that you know, Jim, if that is your real tell name. Me something that you know. The sprite who can make it. Oh, holy crap. Now that is the opposite of what Ralph said. 
So, so Jim may be lying to us. But maybe only lying while blue. We don't know. Let me write that down. Damn it, Jim. You're betraying the Brotherhood. Uh, let's see. Alright, I can make it safe. Safe. Only write safe once. For you to cross. And only do so. And the first letter of its name is different from the first letter of its color. Okay. Might be lying, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, we have only one more name to gather, theoretically. Who are you? This is Yancey again. Okay. Tell me something else you know. Tell, tell me something you know while red. My sister lies when she's blue. Sister lies when she's blue. Okay. Are, are they all brothers and sisters here? Should I assume that? Who knows? Okay. Nancy tells us, while red, my sister lies when she's blue. Alright. Alright, here we go. <laughs> okay. Let's talk to someone else. My name is Ralph. This is Ralph again. Uh, I have I have Ralph's yellow comment. Let's see if it's the same. If it isn't, then I'm just I, I may begin weeping. We'll see. <laughs> just, just out of sheer your early onset uh, despair. Uh, you should say that the sprite who can make it safe for you to cross can only do so when the first letter of its name is the same as the first letter of its color. Let's see if we say. Tell if me something that you. See if he says that. The sprite can make it safe oh, good. <laughs> can do so only when the first letter of its name is the same as the first letter of Okay. Its good. They're going to be consistent. That helps. That helps a lot because otherwise I was there was there was a lot of hair pulling in the future. My name is Rachel. Rachel while yellow. I already have yellow Rachel. Tell me something that you know. When I am yellow. The sprite who can make it safe for you to cross is red. Yeah, okay, we knew that already. My name is Yancey. We have, we do not have Yancey while yellow. We're about to collect the full set of Yanceys. Tell me something that you know. Okay. There are eight oh, crap. Of, as you can see, the guards don't count. Yeah. Four of us are boys, like me. Four are girls. We are four pairs of brother and sister. Okay, all right. I kind of four pairs of brother and sister. Okay. All right. Yeah. 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 It's like that old riddle, you know. Um. Two fathers and two uh, a pair of uh, what was it? Yeah. Two fathers and two sons went out fishing. Each of them caught a fish. They came back with three fish. How did that happen? Yeah, it's, it's that one. That's the simplest version, I think, of that kind of of this kind of riddle. Okay. Shall I rant about riddles in RPGs? No, not yet. <laughs> Maybe afterward. <laughs> if anyone would like to hear my rant on riddles in RPGs, please remind me after we're finished with this one. Uh. Because uh, I'm, I'm thinking this is very different from doing from it happening in the tabletop RPG, which is my my rant. Just yeah. So so when 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 we're done with this 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 PC game riddle, remind me about RPG riddles, and I will rant about it. 
Um, four of us are always like, okay, yeah, right, okay, all right, let me write this down. And this was, this was the yellow Yancey. Comment. And Yancey identifies as a boy, which I will also... Um, it, this was written in the 90s, so I have a feeling they're not going to give us identifiers for each of them necessarily, and we're probably going to have to assume based on popular uses of the names. Um, but uh, Yancey is... Um, uh, Yancey, I think, is, is, is been, I've seen used for, for both. Uh, for for both uh, uh, males and females, and for folks of uh, folks of all genders. So, uh, Yancey may be gender neutral, um, probably. But anyway, there are eight of us. There are eight of us, as you can see. The guards don't count. Four of us. Our boys like me. Four are girls. We are four pairs of brother and sister. Okay. All right. There we go. Um. I can inform you. Stable Dude says I can. I can inform you of the non-riddle confusion of my amber. Non-riddle confusion my amber arranged, which was two fraternal sets of two identical sets. Of boy girl twin sets. Amber character arranged. Oh, yeah. Because power plays in Amber. Well, yeah, of course. Your Amber character arranged for there to be uh, two fraternal sets of two identical sets of boy twin girls. Ah. Yeah. I mean, it's Amber. These things happen. Uh, let's see. What was the quote? I am surprised the family is not much larger. Okay. Each boy-girl set went to a different house in chaos. Oh, God. <laughs> well, yeah. That... Okay. Okay, that's... That's very interesting. That's very interesting. Um... We have the complete set of Yancey's stuff. There's still one, uh, still one fairy here. We haven't identified their name. But we'll get there. Okay. I talk to you. My name is Ralph. This is Ralph. Well, Red. I don't have Ralph. Well, Red. Tell me something that you know. Only a blue sprite can make it safe for you to cross. They say this a lot. Only a blue sprite can make it safe for you to cross. Yeah, <laughs> Amber, where you don't speak of a ge genealogy tree, but rather a genealogy graph with cycles. Only a blue sprite can make it safe for you to cross. Okay, gotcha. It's a, it's a big ol' hedge. Um, <laughs> anyway. Let's see. Only a blue sprite can make it safe for you. Cross. And this was Ralph as red. We now have the complete set of Ralphs. Only a blue sprite can make it safe for you to cross. Okay. They're, they seem to hinge a lot on the blue sprites thus far from what I am looking at. The other problem is I am seeing, I'm remembering Rachel said, when I am yellow, the sprite who can make it safe for you to cross is red, and that means we'd have to keep track of which one is, is Rachel. If that's true. Good God. I hope they've put in multi- I hope there's redundancy in this. I hope they've put in multiple things to help people figure this out, because this is going to be a nightmare. Uh, here we go. Time to crawl back into the nightmare. Okay. 
Talk to whoever this is. My name is Rachel. This is Rachel when red. We don't have Rachel when red. Tell me something Rachel that you Wynred. know. My brother is either Bart or Yancey. Oh, great. Thank you for that. Rachel when red tells us that my brother is either Bart or Yancey. It'll probably also, you know, we can probably also... Yeah, I'm gonna... Assume then, then Rachel is a sister. And... Bart or is a brother. Okay. And... So there we are. Okay. Okay. My name is Yvonne. Ah, last name. The last name. Excellent, Yvonne. Okay. Yvonne, when yellow. There's a car alarm going off. Just a moment. Just want to make sure it's not my car. Hang on. Look at the pretty lights. I'll be back in a sec. Not my car. Oh, I need to, uh, I need to fix the captions. All right. Let me write this down. Yvonne. Okay. I need to add more to the labyrinth. I'm always saying that. Tell me something that you know. Only a red sprite can make it safe you to cry. Uh, see? See? There's mixed messages here. Okay. Okay, Yvonne. Let me write down Yvonne's name. Alright. And then let me fix the captions. There we go. Presumably. Yeah, okay. All right. Only a red sprite can make it safe for you to cross, says Yvonne, while a yellow. pretty well filled in. We've got, uh, we've heard from everyone at this point, but we still need to fill in the, uh, eh, certain colors on certain individuals. Okay. Okay, who this? That's also Yvonne, but when blue. Okay. Tell me something that you know. Only a red sprite can make it safe for you to cross. Same thing. Interesting. So either I was misreading something a moment ago, or... Huh. All right. Or it's not even tied to the colors at all, and it's just been strangely, uh, there's just been a strange correlation with, uh, it not happening up until now. Okay. Or they just ran out of things they wanted people to say. 
My name is Yvonne. You gonna say the same thing? Only a red yes. can make it safe for you to cross. Let me try talking to Yvonne while My name is Yvonne. yellow again. Tell me something that you know. Only a red can make same. It safe okay. for you to cross. I've lost track of which one is Yvonne. Uh, <laughs> we're just gonna keep going. My name is Yvonne. No, that's still Yvonne. Yeah! Tell me something. Only a red okay, can great, make yes, thank you, thank you, you Yvonne. Jim Hall Yellow, okay. But the, uh... <laughs> An interesting data mining activity? <laughs> it could be. Um... Tell me something that you know. My sister tells the truth when she's blue. My sister tells the truth when she's blue, says Jim. With Jim and Jane, we don't have to worry about uh, dealing with, you know, the same first letter as the name of the color. Um, anyway. You still insist Yancey lies. I think you just have beef with Yancey. That's, that's all I'm saying. What did Yancey do to you? What did Yancey do to you, May? We don't, we're, we're not, well, Yancey also, well, Yancey could still potentially be lying, right? Uh, we, don't, we don't know. Um, well, yeah, Yancey, he could be, yeah, that's right, Yancey's, Yancey, Yancey could be lying, he might be, because his, uh, he, he is not, uh, you know, he's not necessarily, you know, We'll have to find out. What didn't Yancey do? We don't know. You need to tell us what he did. Uh, anyway, so Jim says my sister tells the truth when she's blue, while yellow says that. My name is Yancey. This is Yancey while red, who should say my sister lies when she's blue. Tell me something. My sister lies when she's blue. Got it. My name is Rachel. This is Rachel Wild Blue. We don't have Rachel Wild Blue yet. Tell me something that you know. Red stripes always lie. Oh, really? I might be willing to believe that, actually. There's been enough conflict in there. We'll see. Red sprites always lie. Says Rachel when blue. And if, uh, if her brother is indeed Yancey, then, uh, then she is lying that red sprites always lie. Okay. We now have a full set of responses from Rachel and Yancey and Ralph. We still have more responses to go. We've got, like, five more fairies we have to fill in here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how about you? My name is Rachel. You're also Rachel. We have your responses already. Tell me something. My brother is a yeah. Bart or Yancey. Okay. My name is Yvonne. Uh, I already have Yvonne while yellow. Tell me something. Only a red sprite can make it safe for you to cross. Okay. There's going to come a point where I'm going to have to start keeping track of which sprite is which, and that's going to be a royal pain. My name is Jim. Jim Hall Yellow should say, uh, Sister Tells Truth when Blue. Tell me something that you know. My sister tells the truth when she's blue. Okay. Once again, I have no idea who's who. My name is Jane. Is Jane Hall Yellow? We already have Jane Hall Yellow. 
Tell me something that you know. My brother tells the truth when he's blue. Okay. I think this might be Jane still. My name is Jane. Yes, okay, good. Alright. Tell me something that you know. Some blue sprites always lie. Some always tell the truth. <laughs> Okay, no, we're good. It'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Okay. Good God. Some blue sprites always lie. Some always tell the truth. I have to wonder if there's some way to brute force this puzzle. Um. Want to become famous? No, thank you. Wait, I have to bend someone. Hang on. Okay, there we go. All right. Back to back to my despair. Uh, let's see. Some blue sprites always lie. Some always tell the truth. Okay. My name is Jane. This is Jane while yellow. We have Jane while yellow. Tell me something that you know. My brother tells the truth when he's blue. I think, is this still Jane? Is this still Jane? We need Jane Hall Red. My name is. Ah! Jane. Oh, we don't have Jim Hall Red. Tell me something that you know. Yellow sprites always lie. Yay! Okay, hang on. Yellow sprites always lie. Now, if this causes us too much despair, I'm, get, I'm trying an honest run at this, but if this causes us too much despair, I will look up the answer. Um, but uh, anyway, we now have a complete set for Jim. Okay, next. My name is Betty. Betty while blue. We already have Betty while blue. Tell me something. That Only a blue sprite can make it safe for you to cross. My name is Betty. Okay. Yes, note I've started trying to track them a little bit so that I can try to get them when they're different colors. But we'll, we'll see. Oh boy. Tell me something that you know. It's, this is going to get harder and harder the more information we're trying to gather. The sorcerer family is evil. Thank you. Thank you for that information. Um, here's the thing. If we want to take that as absolute fact, then that might help, but we'll see. Uh, which one was that, Benny? Oh, Oh no! I think that was Betty. I hope that was Betty, dear God. Meanwhile, blue. Tell me something. Some blue sprites always lie. Some always tell the truth. My name is Jane. Red, yes. Tell me something that you know. When I am blue, the sprite who can make it safe for you to cross is red. I've heard something like this before. 
Uh, we're gonna put this over here. All right, here we go. Um, Jane saith, when I am blue, the sprite who can make it safe for you to cross is red. Okay, we have complete sets for Rachel, Yancey, and you know, I'll show you where we are. Um, we have complete sets for Rachel, Yancey, Jane, Jim, and Ralph. So we need to pick up from three of them. We still need to pick up um, one each, and then that'll be it. And we'll have all of them, and then we'll puzzle over it for a bit. Um, assuming I got this right, and this actually was Betty that said this. Heavens help us. Okay. Oh boy. All right, so we need Yvonne, Betty, and Bart. So we can start. My name is Ralph. We don't need Ralph. Is it safe? It is not safe for you to cross now. My name is Rachel. We don't need Rachel. Is it safe? It is not safe for you to cross now. My name is Yvonne. We, we needed Yvonne while red. Great. Okay. Tell me something that you know. Only a yellow sprite can make it safe for you to cross. Okay, only a yellow sprite can make it safe for you to cross. Alright. What is Yvonne while red? Telling us that only a yellow sprite can make it safe for you to cross. Interesting. So it's only while red that Yvonne changes their tune. Okay. need to make a couple of little notes on here as to probable things. Just so, so we have some details here. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. That would make sense. Okay. So we just need... Oh no! Alright, I, I, uh... I had moved it where I couldn't see it. Alright. Um, we just need Bart while blue and Betty while red. And that's that's it. That's that's the last we need. Evans help us. Okay. My name is Ralph. Okay, this is Yellow Ralph. Tell me so the sprite can make it safe for you to cross. Can do so yeah. only when the first letter of its name is the same. My name is Jim. Yes, thank you. Is it safe? It is now safe. For you to cross. You might be lying to me. My name That's is also Ralph. Ralph, okay. Is it safe? It is not safe for you to cross now. Is My this... name is Yvonne. This is Yvonne. Is it safe? It is not safe for you to cross now. My name is Betty. This is Betty, okay, so this is Betty while blue. Uh we need we need Betty while red. Tell me something. Only a blue sprite can make it safe for you to cross. My name is Betty. Okay. Tell me something that you know. The sprite who can make it safe for you to cross can only do so when the first letter of its name is different from the first letter of its color. Oh boy. Okay. It's gonna mess up my graph <laughs> by giving me that long a sentence. <laughs> All right, here we go. 
right. You can make it safe for you to cross and only do so when the first letter of its name is different from the first letter of its color. Okay. Uh, let me also put, let me swap you with Yvonne. As Yvonne has nice short sentences. On the, on the spreadsheet here. Okay, there we go. Uh, we just need Bart while blue, and then we'll have the entire set, and we'll start figuring it out, I hope. Which one of you is Bart? My name is Yvonne. You are not Bart. Who are you? My name is you Rachel. are Rachel. I do not need to, to know about is anything from Rachel. It is not safe for you to cross now. Who are you? My name. You are Yancy. Is, Yancy. is it safe for me to? It is not safe for you to cross now. Yeah. My name is Betty. Don't need Betty. Is it safe? It is now safe for you to cross. My name is Yvonne. Don't need Yvonne. It is not safe for you to Oh boy. My name is Jane. Oh good lord. It is not safe for you to cross now. My name is Jim. Don't need Jim. Is it safe? It is now safe for you to cross. My name Don't need Ralph. It is not safe for you to cross now. The hell? <laughs> they gave up! <laughs> they just decided to they got bored and left. Maybe that's how you brute force this puzzle. Oh god. <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> if you do this long enough, if you talk to enough of them, they give up! Oh god! Yeah, I think we're gonna have to come back, but I guess we can just keep going now. I was not expecting that. Okay, well, so much for that then. <laughs> I have a feeling we don't we don't get points for that. Um, hey, how's it going? I'm the most boring human you'll ever meet. Does this count as speedrun strats? I don't know. You'd think it would be the antithesis of a speedrun. What's, what's my score currently? You have achieved a score of 29 out of 250 possible points. This gives you, gives you the rank of varlet. Okay, let's look at everything. You know the drill. That's a very large toad. Great cow, these are big toads! Those are big toads. You've heard of toadstool circles, but this is ridiculous. The flower gardens look untended, but beautiful with no sign of weeds. Some of the flowers are unnaturally beautiful, almost as if they were made of crystal. Huge mushrooms dot the grounds here, the way normal-sized ones were scattered in the grass outside Brynfan. 
If the size of the critters at the other end of the clearing is any indication, everything is big here. What is it about Bryn Fan that causes such weird growth? Yeah, oh yeah, I'm going to save the spreadsheet just in case. I have a, I have a theory that uh, once you actually talk to everyone, they just go away. That might be what's, what's happened here. I don't know. That was hilarious. We're not going to get a perfect score on this, though, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Thankfully, I've been worn down to the point that I don't care about that anymore. I didn't really care about the, that to begin with. Tree stump. So somebody has been doing some woodcutting. You had the, this idea that all of nature was undisturbed in Bryn Fan, but apparently even fairies need firewood. Okay, and that's just a regular giant mushroom. It's a perfectly ordinary huge mushroom. Beautiful grass and flowers carpet the ground. Sanctuary woods. The deep forest of Bryn Fan is often known as the Sanctuary Woods. No human being has ever entered and left. Though the rumors are that any human who wishes, wishes may do so, but that none who enter ever want to leave. Interesting. Okay, let me actually get rid of the spreadsheet so that I can see what's on the monitor. There we go. Okay, let, me, let me make sure I've saved the spreadsheet, though. Because that was a lot to collect. Okay. That is saved. Okay. The Butterfly King, King of the Fairies, sits patiently atop it. This mushroom watching you with laughter in his eyes. And I think that's everything I can possibly look at. That's not the Butterfly King. You've never seen anything quite so magnificent as the King of the Fairies? Part man, part insect? You can't help wondering if he fears the toads. Grand and sparkling, he's also unlike any of the other fairies. He gives you a nod and a sage smile as you look at him. I can't remember what we're here to do. I guess we're here to talk. Let's talk to the Butterfly King. And who might you be? I have no idea. I've been talking to too many, too many sprites. I am Kalish, King of the Fair. Well, that too. I didn't ask you who you were. I asked you who you might be. Oh no. I might be any number of people, I suppose. Who might you be? Not true at all. You are clearly only one person. Really? I am Kalish. I don't know the word Kalish. What does it mean? It's my name. Oh boy. So in your language, Kalish means it's my name. This conversation is going so well. No, no. Kalish itself is a name. What does Kalish mean then? I don't know. Ah. Now I understand. Yeah, yeah. You're very confusing. You think this is confusing? You should try to learn the language of the Zoptus Eclipsus. In their language, one word can mean many different things. For instance, in Zoptus Eclipsus, the word shush means sand, but put the special broadening sound tra in front of it. Tra shush and it takes on a greater meaning. Home. I, uh, are we gonna... I wonder if we're gonna have to remember this later. Put another tra-tra-shush, and it means safety. Another tra-tra-tra-shush, and it means the will of the people. So you see, their special word tra, added to a root word, makes bigger and more grand words. That's very interesting, but I was wondering... I, I, there, there's, there's a point. I can see that. All right, I have a little quiz for you. Oh, boy. <laughs> I hope you were paying attention. Oh, no. Oh, no! Who might you be? Who 
We are going to fail this test. Oh god. Okay. He didn't want the answer King Kalash. He didn't want the answer any number of people. I'm going to say anyone. Anyone. What did you tell me the word Kalish means? I don't know. It's my name. I never said. Ultimately, he said, I don't know. Before that, he said, it's my name. And he took that to mean that me I don't know. I don't know. If the softness could this word, Sohan, means woman, what does Tra Sohan mean? Well, adding tra to send meant home. So, this is what I seem to oh, I forgot, I didn't realize there was that sound that was, basically it's the big toad vocalizing. We never, we didn't really cover that. Home. In your own language, answer this question. What is my name? The Butterfly King. What will happen to you if you eat some of this mushroom? I'll get in trouble. I won't like it. <laughs> I wonder if these answers matter and how much they matter. I'll get sick. I'll get in trouble. I won't like it. I'll get in trouble. Some of your answers are displeasing, or they show that you do not yet understand me well enough to speak with me. Let's forget this conversation ever took place, shall we? Oh boy. Can we talk to the toads? Will that be easier? Oh, that's a lot of toad. The gigantic toads stare at you with, with worldly wise eyes. There is no other, no other reply. There's a crown there. A lovely golden crown sits atop a small toadstool surrounded by the gigantic toads. Okay. Well, that crown... I have no reason to, to touch that crown or do anything with it, aside from the fact that this is an adventure game. Uh, so we'll see! Let's try this again, heavens help us. Or possibly restore if uh, we're not allowed to try again. We'll see. And uh, who might you be? I am Kalish, king of the fair. I didn't ask you who you were. <laughs> I asked you who you might be. Right. This is going to be a memory thing, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Of course it is. Ah. Uh... I might be any number of people, I suppose. Not true at all. You are clearly okay. only one person. Yeah. This is an adventure game. We'll need that crown and it won't be for us to wear. Yeah, probably not. I am. Kalish. I don't know the word Kalish. What does it mean? It's my name. Okay. So the first thing he says is, it's my name. That. So in your language, Kalish means, it's my name. No, no. Kalish. What does Kalish mean then? And then he asks what Kalish means again. I don't know. And he says, I don't know. Now I understand. You're very confusing. You think this is confusing? You should try to learn the language of the Soptus. Okay. 
One word can mean very different things. For instance, in Zoptus Ecliptus, the word shush means sand. But put the special broadening sound broadening. tra in front of it. Tra shush. And it takes on a greater meaning. Om. Put another tra tra shush. And it means safety. Another tra 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 shush. And it means the will of the people. So you see, their special word tra added to a root word. Bigger and grander. Bigger and more grand word. All right. That's very interesting, but I can see that. All right, I have a little quiz. Who might you be? Anyone. What did you tell me the word Kalish means? I don't know. If the Saptus Ecliptus word Sohan means woman, what does Tra Sohan mean? Uh, well, we're gonna try this one. Lots of women. In your own language, answer this question. What is my name? <laughs> Kalish. Yeah, I think that's gonna be what it. What will happen to you if you eat some of this mushroom? I'll get sick. Some of your answers are displeasing, for they show that you do not yet understand me well enough to speak with me. Okay. We're, we're narrowing it down. This is gonna be easier than the fairies. Than the, than the sprite puzzle. I am Kalish. I didn't. I might be any number. Not true at all. I am. Cal I don't know the word. It's my name. So, in your language... No, no. What does Kalish mean, then? I don't know. Now, I understand. You're very confusing. You think this is confusing? For instance... Right, yeah. Put another tra tra shot. That's very interesting. I can see that. Or who might you be? Anyone. What did you tell me the word Kalish means? There's some of these I'm going to go back and uh, in these responses we'll see. I'm only going to change one response. Lots of women in your own language answer this question. What is my name? I don't know. What will happen to you if you eat some of this mushroom? I won't like it. Some of your answers are displeasing, for they show that you do not yet understand me well enough to speak with me. Well, I think we're getting closer. Ever took place, shall we? It's just really a question of, um, kind of remembering what's going on here. I don't know the word. It's my name. So in your No, no. You just have to figure out which. I don't know. Now I under You're very confused. You think this is con for instance, I'm just going to skip straight to the test. That's very interesting. I can see that. All right. Who might you be? Anyone. What did you tell me the word Kalish means? We're going to go with this. It's my name. If the Saptus Ecliptus word Sohan means woman, what does Tra Sohan mean? Uh, I don't like... Yeah, dear God. Trouble. In your own language, answer this question. Mm. What is my name? Kalish. What will happen to you if you eat some of this mushroom? I'll get into... Some of your answers are displeasing. Or they show that you do not yet understand me well enough to speak with me. Clearly. Let's forget this I'm trying to play the I'm trying to play this this this, this game of his properly. <sighs> Question of hitting on the right combination. Am I about to break out the spreadsheet again for this? I might be about to break out the spreadsheet again for this. Alright, let's break out the spreadsheet. Stand by. Oh boy. As it's kind of a question of what uh, what they give us versus what they have for us. Okay. 
All right, we're gonna. Do we? We'll see if the fairy king gets bored enough to just let us go past. And uh, who? I am. Ca I didn't ask you who you were. I ask you who you might be. I might be any number. Not true at all. I am Kalish. I don't know the word Kalish. What does it? It's my name. So in your language, Kalish means it's my name. No, no. Ka what does Kalish mean then? I don't know. Now I understand. You're very confusing. You think this is confusing? For instance, in Saptus. Send. The word shush um, put another safety pra, pra, shush. will of the and people that's very interesting i can see that oh, who might you be okay the reason i broke out the spreadsheet is so that i can write this down all right here we go who might you be Three possible answers. We have any number of people. We have King Kalish of Gren Kalach. And we have anyone. He didn't like either of these two answers. I'm still going with anyone is the most likely answer. Anyone. What did you tell me the word Kalish means? Hey, what did you tell me the word Kalish means? See, your desert people home is a valid extension of sand and safety is an extension of home and the will of the people is a valid extension of safety at least for for a ruler yeah 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 that's what i was thinking um i don't know it's my name i never said Might be the right answer here. I don't know. I'll try saying I never said. I never said. If the Saptus Eclipsus word Sohan means woman, what does Tra Sohan mean? And. <laughs> Once again, we have the question with the, the sexist, option, sexist option for the answer. Um, if the softest eclipse... Actually, write down the. Uh... In your own language. Dang it. Answer this question. What is my name? Hang on. I've not been doing my due diligence here. All right. In your own language. Sir, what is my name? I 
don't know. Alish. Butterfly King. <laughs> I don't know what will happen to you if you eat some of this mushroom. This last one is also a little confusing because I don't know. That was never referenced in the previous conversation, I thought. Maybe I should try it. I'll get sick. I'll get in trouble. I won't like it. Okay. <laughs> I wonder, do they tell you ahead of time? Do, do, does the, uh... I wonder if the fairy at the entrance tells you what happens, what, what's going to happen if you try to eat the mushroom. I don't know. Or does someone warn you about that ahead of time? I can't remember. It's been forever. I won't like it. Some of your answers are disgusting. Yeah. Or they show that you do not yet understand me well enough to speak with me. Let's forget this conversation ever took place, shall we? Little mushrooms taste bad. You can only imagine what this one, what one this size would taste like. Yeah. Okay. There's there's clearly something. There's clearly something. I don't know what it is. Okay. So we have, uh... A lot of possible combinations... ...for this. Uh, for these five questions. I can link I don't know to what is my name. If we're broadening the definition of hmm. one thing into another, what will happen if you eat some of this mushroom? I'll get sick, I'll get in trouble, I won't like it. Who might you be? So I feel like the correct answer is probably. Are anyone I don't know and then Alash and I won't like it? Perhaps? And then for what does a woman be? Yeah, it's it depends on how sexist they want the answer to be, really. For if uh, what what does Trasohan mean? Because I would be inclined to think it's lots of women, but um, if you if, if it's supposed to broaden the the idea, but then at the same time, trouble could be considered a broadening of the idea. Let's see. And uh, who might you? I am Kalish. Right. I didn't ask you who you were. I ask you who you might be. I might be any number of people. I Not true at all. You are clearly only one person. Mm -hmm. I am. I don't know the word Kalish. What does it mean? It's my name. So in your language, Kalish means it's my name. No, no. Kalish itself is a name. What does Kalish mean then? I don't know. Now I understand. You're very confusing. You think this is confusing? You mm -hmm. should try to learn the language of the Saptus Ecliptus. For instance, in Saptus Ecliptus, the word shush means sand. 
but put the special broadening sound tra in front of it. Tra shush, and it takes on a greater meaning. Om. Put another tra tra shush, and it means safety. Another Home becomes safety. Tra 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 shush. And safety becomes the will of the people. The will of the people. So you see, their special word tra added to a root word makes bigger and more grand words. Since the one that I'm least certain of is the one in the middle, I think that's the one we're going to have the most vari variation on when we try to run through this. So, But it's supposed to be also bigger and more grand words. That's very interesting, but I was wondering... I can see that. All right, I have a little quiz for you. Who might you be? Anyone. What did you tell me the word Kalish means? I don't know. If the Saptus Ecliptus word Sohan means woman, what does Tra Sohan mean? So... It could be any of these things. But I mean, home came from the uh, you know the idea of sand, and the idea of woman. If you just put one try in front of it, I think they want the answer to be trouble, which is ridiculous. But anyway, trouble. In your own language, answer this question: What is my name? And therefore, the answer would be Kalish. Kalish. What will happen to you if you eat some of this mushroom? And based on the. Uh, Based on the, the response when you try to eat the mushroom. I won't like it. Very good. There it is. There. Okay. You understand the very mind passing well, I'd say. Know that I understand the minds of the fair passing well myself. And I know the quest that is in thy mind and heart. Good lord. <laughs> Here, take this gift of power. For it is said that only by the three stones of power can Sanwi truly be defeated. Oh, I see. You get a rock when you go to each place. This is one of the power stones whose prophecy is to bring about the destruction of the sorcerer. This one is red, like the flowers in the garden here. Thanks, King. Oh no. There's a special way to thank these people. Oh no! May your children be a joy to you. May your pipe smoke always be sweet. For thy kindness. King of the butterflies. I've heard this one, I just can't remember where I've heard it from. Thank you, and may your children be a joy to you. And now, I deem it is time for another quiz. Listen carefully and oh God. properly, for I have little time to wait. <laughs> Can we just say thank you and slip out of the conversation? Alas, no, it seems. <laughs> Why do fairies tease the fair? Well, it's they like to challenge authority, or it's they like to test their limits. I think it's they like to test their limits. I think. I can't remember anymore. We've had conversations with other characters about this, uh, but it was a while ago. Um, they like to test their limits. Which is the greatest race in Grand Kalahak? The fair, the fairies, the race of the 500 chariots. Let's go with that. The race of the 500 chariots. Why must Sanwi be destroyed? Because we are prejudiced against him. That's the real answer. Uh, <laughs> because he will not stop until I am dead. 
because he ravages and destroys the land. That's actually, I think, what we're supposed to be saying here. Um, although the answer is we are prejudiced against him. Uh, <laughs> because he ravages and destroys the land. So you are well versed in our lore, King of the Fair. Let us speak longer, for as you know, I am the Butterfly King, ruler of Bren Fan. You have received your gift, but you knew not that it was here before you came. Why did you come then? Like, well, let's hurry up. I don't have much time. Let's talk longer. What? Why didn't Kyle's name is that big toe? <laughs> I have come to seek your wisdom. I have come seeking knowledge that might help me against Sandway. I think it was all a general wisdom seeking thing before we actually do it. Um. I mean, not wrong, we are extremely prejudiced against him. It's true. And like I said last time, the more I learn about this society, the more I think Sunway may have had a point. Uh, anyway. It was this, knowledge helping against Sunway, but then coming to seek your wisdom is also an option. Um, I'm gonna go for this and hope it's not the wrong answer. I came seeking knowledge that might help me against Sanwi. The fairy legends concerning Sanwi say that his own magic will be the start of his downfall. Somehow, you must use his powers against him before you can even begin to defeat him. Okay. That sounds like that's going to take a while. Uh, his own magic will be the start of the down his downfall. Okay. I have come to seek your wisdom. What little I have of it, I will share with you. My expertise lies in magic, spells, arcane knowledge, prophecy. There is much prophecy concerning you, O King of the Fair. Magic, spells, arcane knowledge, prophecy. There is much prophecy concerning you. Let's say the oracles. What in Cal name is that big toad? I really want to ask about the big toad. Let's not get distracted from what we're talking about just yet. And what say the oracles? I know that you are in Sorso. I detect hmm. a powerful spell about you, though I know not what it is. Whatever it is, it has affected your memory, for I warrant you don't remember being in Sorso recently. Hey, Doppelganger. I don't know. You may be... Indeed, I do not. That is very interesting. Well, thank you, Butterfly King, and may your children be a blessing to you. And thank you, King of the Fair. Here is another gift for you, from my heart. This figurine was carved from a single limb of an ancient oak. Please accept this as my wish for good luck and a safe journey. Butterfly King lovingly passes you a small, beautifully carved figure of a bird. Are we, Sanway? We might be. The figurine is beautifully crafted. It reminds you of a bird, a bird-shaped flute you had as a child, but it has no holes for making music. You would swear that each time you look at it, its shape is slightly different. Ooh. The power stone is like other spell spheres, smooth, colorful, and vibrant. With innate power, it is difficult to tell by the look or feel exactly what purpose it serves or what significance its color has. So something else also that uh, I noted is that uh, as I was looking as I was looking briefly at walkthroughs but not uh, not looking at I wasn't I didn't I didn't look at very much aside from the structure so I could figure out 
if I was going anywhere in the wrong order. Um, which possibly we are, but um, I don't think we are. There is, I, I think we come back to each of these places after we go to try to deal with Sanway. I think. Which is why we can leave things undone here. Probably. <laughs> I'm curious about that crown, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna try to grab it or anything. Yet. Let me save the game. Let me try talking to him one more time before we leave. Or try to leave. Thank you for all your help. May your children be a blessing to you, O King. Okay, not gonna tell us about the toads, huh? <laughs> I really wanted to know about those toads. Alright. They just, they got bored. I still can't believe. Did we ask about the toads at all? We did not, but it was, uh, it was, it was an option on the, on the, on the conversation tree. But I, uh, I, I was hoping we would get a chance to ask it again, but we, we did not. Um... Cheerfulness is giving me hives. Go away. Okay. Let's see. We've got about... We've got a little more time. In real life, not here. Splitting more. Why is he taking so long? A magical quest is not quickly accomplished, my dear. Do you, do you think honestly that he has a chance to succeed? Well, my dear, frankly, I do not. Hmm. Oh, Cal. Now, now, don't weep. Perhaps everything will work out for the best. That doesn't sound evil at all. Okay. So... We gotta go to Soptus Ecliptus. Let us go to Soptus Ecliptus. Okay. Oh, I'm sure we'll be just fine. It's a, it's a, look, look at all this space. Oh boy. I can believe if the puzzle were deemed too annoying that a simple counter could be used to skip a puzzle if we tried unsuccessfully too many times. Yeah. I think that's possible. Yeah, this was the mid-90s. They were starting to maybe get hip to that. <laughs> they saw what Lucasfilm was doing. Yep, just walking through the desert. The desert is so wide and the sun is so hot. Just when you think you must surely perish here in the dry sands, and you curse the Soptus who sent you here, you spy a small lean-to in the distance. A friend! Any man can cross the great desert if he has friends. The lean-to looks small and rude and partially buried beneath the sand, but you can see someone moving about near it, and he doesn't seem to be armed or particularly dangerous looking. More desert having King's Quest flashbacks now. Yep. Uh, 
Okay. The desert looks exactly the same to you in all directions. If you didn't know the direction of the sun, you'd be completely lost. Look at the bones. The pile of bones is the remains of this Soptus trader's dinner. There's still a bit of meat here and there, here and there, if you're hungry. I think I still have food on me, don't I? Maybe. Look at sign. The sign has a few runes of the Soptus language on it. You know f enough to know it probably points the way back to your own kingdoms. The sky is wide and bright. Dead deadly with the hot rays of the sun! <laughs> Get the lean to. The trader's lean to is a jury rigged contraption consisting of a blanket slung over several wooden poles. The sand itself acts as an anchor. You wonder if it's really any cooler here there in the shade. The Soptus Trader looks the same as all the other Soptus, tall and gray with those huge black eyes. He is smiling. All right. Well, here we go. I'm gonna grab some of these bones. Will that, will that, will that help? The animal bones come apart easily and you end up with something that resembles a leg bone. I hope you don't mind just randomly picking up stuff. <laughs> you did that, the other travelers have a harder time than you've had. Okay. All right, sorry, just needed to needed to do that real quick. Let me also save over that. Alright. Talk to the trader. Greetings, man of Soptus Eclipses. Oh, he sounds fine. <laughs> Is this stuff we're supposed to remember from earlier? I wonder. I don't speak your language. Trahosan, Trahosan. We can't only make him with Kylie. I'm sure there was stuff we were told to say at this time. I don't speak your language. Let's be an annoying tourist. I don't understand you. Greetings, man of Scar. Tra, 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 shab. So, tra, this is a, a thrice broadened word. Vincio shab falacliptus. Trahosan! Trahosan! <laughs> I guess that was funny, eh? <laughs> if you say so. Greetings, man of Sa- Pekadoli Mekratum, Epkali Abrastum, Sheshka Akadum, Clem. Perhaps we should start over again. Me. Greetings, man of Soptus Ecliptus. Can you help me? Car Vicky Odum, Tratra Trasher? Yes. Car Vicky Odum, Tratra Trasher, Tilson. If you say so, 
Cordoli Trisoptis. Right. Greetings, man of Scar Vicky Odom Trot Trot Trashap. No. Car Vicky Odom Softus? Yes. Car Vicky Odom Softus Tilsum Eclipus Bala Eclipus Eclipus Popo Eclipus. If you say so. Dwebuch Cordoli Trisoptis. Greetings, man of Carl Vicky Odom. There's a thing where they want you to learn the language. No. Carl Vicky Odom Softus? No. Ep Cordoli Acartum. If you say so. Dwebuch Cordoli Trisoptis. Huh. Greetings, man. Carl Vicky Odom Trotra Trashop. There's there's a thing here. There's a thing here. No. Car Vigiotum Softus? I don't speak your language. Ep Codoli Acartum. Perhaps we should. Me. Greetings, Ma. Car Vigiotum Tratra Trashop? No. Car Vigiotum Softus? Yes. Car Vigiotum Softus Tilt Eclipus. Bala. Eclipus. Eclipus. Popo. Eclipus. If you say so. If you say yes, reaches his hand out. Let me try some things. Zoptus native eyes your possessions with interest, but ultimately shakes his head. He doesn't seem to want a gift, and you have nothing he can trade for. Okay. And he is a trader. I think he's giving us directions. If we assume that he's giving us directions. Greetings, man of Softus Eclipse. If he's giving us directions, then uh, I think he's asking us which way we want to go. So I think he's giving us directions to one of two things. I think. Let me see. So if we want to go to the, I think, yes, yes, okay, all right. It's the Shab or the Softus. We want to go to the Softus. So. So to get to the tra 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 shab, I'm making crass assumptions here, but I think I might be right. Let's see. Okay. I hope I'm right. So let's start by saying yes, if we want to go to the tra 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 shab. Kavinkyodum tra 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 shab tilsham. Follow, follow, follow. 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 Popo, follow. Okay. Man of Carl Odom Tratra Trashop? No. Carl Vicky Odom Softus? Yes. Carl Vicky Odom Softus Tilsham? Eclipus. Eclipus. Fala. Eclipus. Eclipus. Eclipus.
Let me just make sure I got that one right. Because I didn't write everything down as I was going in quite the right, in quite the same way there. Hang on. Perhaps we should leave. Greetings, man of Carl Vicky Odom, track track trash up. No. Carl Vicky Odom Softus? Yes. Yes. Carl Vicky Odom Softus Tilshin. Equipus. Bala. Equipus. Equipus. Popo. Equipus. There's one more Eclipus in there. Okay. And that was just Soptus. Okay. Also, I, I need to watch and see what direction he was pointing in. We should start over again. Greetings, man of so If he's pointing. Yes. Towards this way. Okay. Perhaps we should start over. Me. Greetings, ma- Carl Vicky Odom, track track trash up? No. Carl Vicky Odom, softus? Yes. Carl Vicky Odom, softus, Tilson. Pointing this way again. Equipus. Bala. Equipus. Equipus. Popo. Equipus. Okay. So, here's the thing. What direction is Fala and what direction is Ecliptus? <laughs> if we are assuming, right? We're assuming that we're getting directions and it's like, go this number of screens in this direction. Tra tra shab is closer than Saptus. Avi Kyotum. I don't understand. Yep. Greetings, Vinkyo Shabby Clotus. Trahosan, Trahosan. Vinkyo Shabbala Clotus. Trahosan, Trahosan. I guess that was funny, eh? <laughs> Perhaps we should. <laughs> Greetings, man of Soptasy. Carl Vicky Odom, track track trash up. Pekadoli Mekratum. Epkali Abrastum. Shishka Akadum, Clem. Perhaps we should see. Greetings, man. Carl Vicky Odom. I'm just mostly trying to trying to just make sure I've I'm catching catching what nuance I can here before anything else happens. Um Tilsham. Perhaps we did he point at us when he did that? Anyway. Greetings, All right. No. Yes. I don't know if pointing, if he's actually pointing this way when he says it, or if he's just gesturing. That's the only thing. Perhaps we should Greetings. Because he just gestures like that too. So again, with the beginning one, if you're going there, again he points at us. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not going to tell us which way to. All right. Okay. If you say so. Dwebush, Kodoli Trasoptus. Dwebush, Kodoli Trasoptus. Alright, so I think we're supposed to head south because he points in that direction. But, uh... There are two different places we can go, I think. We have to go Faleth four times. <laughs> or we have to go... 
Ecliptus, then Fala, then three Ecliptuses. That, that makes sense. Who's pointing this way? What would make the most sense is, uh, who's back on the stick again? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're in such, so much trouble. We're in so much trouble. We're going to die. Um, we are, we are in the desert trying to figure out stuff. Okay. So, if I have this right, we have north, south, east, and west, right? If, we're, if we head south first, if we take that as the assumed thing, right? Then you can go in two directions. One of two directions. To uh, actually make it work, right? The follow direction or the ecliptus direction. I don't think they're opposite directions. Because otherwise, the Soptus directions wouldn't have a mix of the two. Which means that they are... Because on the screen, you only have north, south, east, and west. So, I think one is... One is south. And the other is either east or west. So one way we can do this, and this may be the way we have to do this because it's an adventure game. You know, go as far as you can in one direction and see if you die. Uh, that's, that's pretty much where we are here. Um, as we sit here mapping the desert. The desert may or may not be mappable. It depends on whether they make that possible. Um, but yeah, I think that... Uh, if we take Fala... <laughs> That's how 80s and 90s games work, absolutely. If we take Fala as a direction, as the... Uh, as we take that as south, I'm inclined to think it's south and west just because we entered from the east. If we are employing logic, which who knows if that helps at all. Um, so we're either heading south and then heading west a bunch, or we're heading south and we're heading south a bunch if we want to try the Trotra Trashab direction first. Uh, we want the Soptus direction first, and we're either heading west, south, west, west, or we're heading south, west, south, south, and another south, probably. Okay. Well, at least, uh, at least it's narrowed down some of these choices, assuming that this is actually what we're looking at. So we can give it a try. All right, time for lots of death. And actually, I, pro I actually don't have that much longer, but we're going to try this a little bit and see what happens. All right, here we go. All right. I'm going to go... I'm trying for, for Trotra Trashab. I'm assuming... I'm going to try with the assumption first that Fala is south. So one, two, three, four. Ah, excellent. I think we're about to die, possibly. <laughs> there we go. It is said in the desert that when a man knows he will die, there is no sense in using water meant for those who will live. Thus the wise nomad seeks death quickly. The Soptus Ecliptus have a place where men go to die, where, where spells take away the fear and flames 
Cleanse the body. Apparently you asked for directions to this place. Ah, okay. That tells us that apparently Fala is south. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Okay, that was, uh, that, that works. Greetings, man of Carl Vicky Odom, tra 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 tra. No. Carl Vicky Odom, Softus? Yes. Carl Vicky Odom, Softus, Eclipus, Fala, Eclipus, Eclipus, Popo, Eclipus. Okay. If you say so. Dwebuch, Cordoli Trasoptus. All right. So he pointed this way first. We're going to assume Ecliptus is west. I was right that it was directions, I think. And then south, because we have Fala. And then west. West. See if that worked. Oh, well, we're somewhere. Out of water. So dry, so hot. Perhaps you misunderstood what the native traveler was trying to tell you. You're lost. No more water. Too much sand. Should have got better directions. Go! Okay. I'm gonna check one more time on this. Could be east. But we'll see. Greetings, man of Sopta no. Fala is south. Yes. Points this way. If you say so. Okay. So, we can assume that maybe then Ecliptus is east. We'll try that. You pointed this way, so the assumption is this way, but also maybe next time we're supposed to go, we're actually just heading that way. We'll see. But apparently, I think we gotta get here first. Okay. No, Ecliptus is not east. <laughs> okay. Let's assume then... We went south the exact number of, uh... times that he was saying. So... We'll see, we'll see. 
All right. But what if we assume... Let me try one. Let me try something here. I just want to. I'm just double checking some something here. I don't. Perhaps we. Greetings, man. Call the Kyoto Trot 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 Shop. So if we say yes. Call the Kyoto Trot 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 Shop, Tilsham. I think Kyoto Trot 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 Shop, Tilsham. Follow. 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 Yeah, if he's if he's actually giving directions from here, perhaps we should. I know I just need to see this so that I know what I'm doing here. Hang on. He points this way. Perhaps we should. Greetings. No. No. He was trying to find, he was trying to give you locations of scenic, scenic locales. Yes. Okay. Yes. Points this way again. Avinkyotum Saptus Tilsham. And those are the same words he used aside from Yeah. Equipus. Follow. Equipus. Equipus. Popo. Equipus. If you say so. We went four. I mean, we'll try from here. But there, there may also be grasping of straws. We will see. count. It's going to be the same thing, isn't it? Or is it? Well, we'll see. Graphics are slightly different. Hello? Oh! Yep. Yep. There's, there's someone there. Supposed to be directions from that spot. Okay. It worked. That's amazing. Okay. Comes less and less. More and more pixelated as you get further across. Yay! Okay. So we made it here. Let me see. We've been at this for two hours, and I actually do need to uh, probably retreat into the ether. Um, decide if I want to chat with them first, or if I wish to. Uh... No, you know what? Yeah, I think I, I'm I'm feeling it a little bit. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna. I need to do the lunch thing. Apparently, apparently people are supposed to do such things. But I think this is actually a good place to. Good place to cease for now. Um, but we made it further. This is good. So that is something. I'm going to go ahead and save the game. And then I shall escape from the game. Um, in some fashion. You go ahead and also fix the captions again. 
I never used to do this. Feels like I just have to clear the transcript anytime we want to do this. Okay. So, we board the sprites. Yes. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all very much for hanging out and watching. Um, I very much appreciate it. Uh, this is this is interesting enough. I want to keep going. Um, I don't know how long this whole thing will be eventually. Because there, I've got so many games I want to get to. So many. So many. But we shall see. We'll keep barreling forth. Um, what do we have happening? So, several things, oddly enough. Uh, so, on this channel, um, on Saturday nights, uh, when we have folks available, we play uh, our Invisible Sun campaign, The Edge of Paradox, um, uh, which I am running. And uh, then, let's see, do we have anything? How soon is the next thing coming up? There are things coming up, actually, as it turns out. Uh, that stuff's happening. Um, I could take a look at the calendar. That might help me. So, see, today is Thursday. In a couple of weeks, uh, we're actually going to have a one-shot on this channel of Monster of the Week. Ryan's going to be running that. That's going to be on a Wednesday night. Um, so we can look forward to that. Um, in the meantime, I've got sign-ups open currently uh, for a short campaign of Cult Divinity Lost that's going to be happening starting around August. Uh, that's going to be run by, uh, by Hollow, who's been on this channel before uh, a few times. Um, it was last. You would have last seen him in uh, in the uh, the sadly short-lived uh, campaign we did. We, we were trying to do of Sunken. Um, so he's going to be coming in and running that. It's a very dark horror game. Um, and so uh, if you're interested in checking that out, uh, I now have actually put it on the website. You can, so you can go down below to click on RPG sign up, or go to jimmyasthatgym.com and click on on game sign up. And uh, beginners are welcome, but please read the content warnings on the sign-up page before before signing up. That's very important um, for this one in particular. Um, I'm also about to open sign-ups for another thing um, that I just need to throw the stuff together. Um, it's uh, we seem to be doing a lot of a lot of a lot of horror-related things coming up. It's fascinating, um, but. Look for uh, announcements for that on my on my Twitter and uh, various other places. Um, but I'm going to have there's going to be a one shot coming up in uh, also in August uh, that uh, Pope is going to be running, um, and uh, so I will I will provide further details on that soon. Um, and uh, then I'm also going to be running a one shot in late August, and we will uh, I'll be. Providing more, again more information on the, those things when uh, when when stuff is more solid, but uh, just look, look for these things soon. Um, and so uh, a lot of things happening, strangely enough. Um, and then there's also going to be more. There's probably going to be another campaign sign up happening relatively soon. Uh, but probably closer to when we get to August is when I'll probably start having that happen. I know I'm still being mysterious right now about what exactly some of these things are, but uh, we'll. We'll get there. We'll get there. I don't want to give folks too many things at a time. Uh, let's see. Imagine running King's Quest as a TTRPG. I've had thoughts. I've had thoughts. Terrible thoughts. And what was that about riddles? Oh, you want to hear the riddle rant. Okay. Um, so before I go, <laughs> I did say I would talk about riddles uh, in tabletop RPGs. So here's the thing. Um, and I might... I may do this on a podcast sometime soon, possibly. Um, but, uh, so, there's this thing, right? That as as people who enjoy games like the one that uh, I've been playing the last couple of hours, um, or, you know, like the, the Lone Wolf games in those books and what have you, one-on-one -on -one things, uh, a lot of folks, uh, and, you know, you, you, they enjoy riddles, or puzzles, or mazes, things like that. Um, and so 
I think a lot of folks assume that then, well, if you enjoy doing that, let's put that in this RPG that I'm running. And uh, the thing is, I believe what people are remembering that they enjoy about things like that in the context of stories where people have to overcome challenges that are like riddles or like puzzles um, is that that is a... What they're remembering is a linear narrative and usually about a single protagonist or at least scripted protagonists, right? A puzzle or a riddle or often, say, a maze and a sort of brain teaser is typically a one-person activity. You can... And there's a certain amount of... There's few sort of uh, mental uh, bits of mental acrobatics you have to to do to be able to both be role playing while doing that, and to be able to do it as a communal thing with other people, because each of you is figuring out a thing in your head, and it can work. I mean, you can consult on puzzles, and some people will know pieces, and others will know others. But what happens is, especially if you have more than, like, two people, is it breaks down into arguments because different people see different things. And they, they're they thinking different things. They've got different Im images in their heads as to what the, what the thing is. And everyone has different approaches to things like puzzles and riddles and mazes. So I'm thinking that what people really want, what people are really remembering, what they enjoy, is the idea of a riddle. I think they like the idea of a riddle or a puzzle or a maze more than the thing itself. And yeah, yeah, it's very much a, uh, it, it, as, as you're saying in Stable Deus, there's a, uh, they test the players and not the characters. And can take a lot of time to create. That's absolutely right. Um, and I, I, I remember there, there have been times when I've, I'm playing in a game and the GM Will sometimes will present us with a puzzle and never look more proud of a thing that they have done because you can tell they took time to work on it and you don't and so you want to try to engage with the thing because you can tell they took time to work on it um but the thing is i think that's only fun for like one or two people <laughs> that's what i'm saying uh by and large um it can be fun for the entire group, depending on how you handle it and how well-balanced things are. If it's a light puzzle, maybe. Um, but I think, like I said, it's more the idea of it than anything else. So what I typically do when I run a game and I want to include something like, say, if I want to include a riddle... It's going to be in there as the, it'll be because you you have you're going to have the role playing part of the riddle, right? Where this this being asks you a question, say you 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 know. Um, but you don't actually have to know the answer as a player. So what I'll usually do is whatever answer you give me will be able to be argued in one way or another as the answer. We'll only argue about the answer for as long as it seems interesting, which probably won't be very long. Or I will help you with the, with the answer to the riddle as we talk about, where, where, what are you thinking right now? This is more effective, I think, most effective when you have a scene when it's just like one or two players. Um, because that's who you're going to be in, you know, as, as far as, you know, number of people you can... You can deal with yeah, and the and the barbarian didn't, barbarian just smashes the puzzle anyway. And you know, if if I were running a game like that, that would be a perfectly legitimate thing. So yeah, if it's if I present you with a puzzle in a game, what I'm really asking is for you to give me some kind of a skill check, um, and or or some kind of a thing where it's like you you have the ability your character or or even just for you to tell me how your character defeats the puzzle. That's really what I'm looking for, or just deals with it. And smashing it might, you know, would could, could entirely be the 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 way through it, just because it's like that's how it goes. But I don't decide ahead of time how you're gonna get how you're gonna solve a puzzle in a game. I don't actually make the puzzle. 
I say, you come across a cube with, uh, with these strange symbols on it that seems to be able to be shifted in different directions. And usually what I'll do is I'll have the... is there, There'll be narrative consequences for whatever they do with that cube. Um, but if I say if we're doing it with involving some kind of a, a, a role, then... They're going to continue narratively, and one way or another, they will be done with the puzzle by the end of that roll, or possibly a series of a couple of rolls, maybe. But it's really about the story of their character solving the, that puzzle, or dealing with that, or not solving the puzzle and making things worse. It's one of the two, um, typically. Or they solve the puzzle and that makes things worse. Just whatever narratively seems to work at the time, really. Um, or based on, based on the story that we have. I tend to lean more in that direction when I'm running games, is if it's about the narrative. Um, but it's it has to be important, is what I'm saying. <laughs> what they're doing has to matter. And so it needs to be a thing where it's not like they, they just happen, they, they, they fail a check and then it's like, well, this doesn't matter. It's gonna matter. Something's gonna happen when they, when they fail the check. Um, the positioning will change somehow, and it either will be um, probably um, a a failure that changes the fictional positioning so that something has happened as a result and things can move forward. Or, um, again, if they're failing uh, the, the role, failing the role, then it means they succeed, but it's that that's a bad thing. Um, <laughs> for whatever reason. They get what they wanted, but also there's a cost, essentially. Um, it's typically how I will do that. Um, and again, mazes, uh, again, I think I like the idea of a maze better than the, uh, uh, as far as RPGs go, the idea of a maze is better than having a maze itself. And so I actually did this once. I had, uh, uh, players go into a labyrinth that had a lot of varying environments in it, and... They already knew the path through the labyrinth. They had already gotten that. That was a, a piece of information they were able to dig up earlier on that I made available to them. It's not a... It's not a question of a... Uh, and It wasn't a question of can you find the right path. It was a question of how do you deal with getting through this, this labyrinth. Because there are a bunch of... The interesting thing about the labyrinth were the shifting environments. Not the, uh, not the can you draw a line through these walls until you hit the center, right? Um, and I'm seeing you saying, uh, uh, in, in chat, uh, I like giving out clues or interpretations to characters based on their ability to solve it. Um, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Um, it's, yeah, I, I, interpretations especially, it's like I can... You assume that the characters are... Unless you're playing Fiasco or something, which is totally legitimate, uh, where, where the point is to be a failure uh, in some ways, um, or the point is to be uh, inept or whatever, if, if that's the point of the character. But if it's not, you assume the character knows what they're doing, right? You, you assume the character actually is competent. Um... So unless it's like a fiasco or inspectors or something like that, in which, you know, paranoia where the incompetence is supposed to be part of the fun and you, you fold that into the narrative, it still matters. Um, and so, so yeah, what I had them do in the, in the labyrinth was that they would just, they would have encounters at different places in the labyrinth as they go along. That's all it is. That's all it was. And sometimes they had choices. You can try to go through this way or you can try to go through this way. But neither way was the wrong way. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's you assume that the characters know what they're doing, basically. <laughs> and so if there's something that's not going to be immediately obvious to the player, you can say, so now you are completely aware, having done this before, that this is probably the direction you're going to want to be going in with this. Uh, you know, that's, it's, that's, that's simple enough. Um, you're saying, I'd like to see a podcast from you with information on this. Thank you. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe it, that may be happening sometime in the near future. We'll see how that goes. Um, too many young GMs, you're saying, try to force puzzles and such with such which test the players and not the characters. 
Um, yes, yeah, that, that's, and, and that's the thing. It's, it seems awesome. It's this bright, shiny thing. And I mean, I've seen GMs of all ages do this, actually, depending on what their mindset on it is. Um, but, you know, it's the, the more you do it, the more you sort of notice how much fun the players are or are not have, having. Um, I know very er, much earlier on in my, in my uh, gaming existence, um, there was a session where it's like the, there was a character who asked us a riddle, and we tried to figure it out in character, and it was like it was right or wrong, and that was it. And it was well roleplayed, but it was like, this is, this is a speed bump. <laughs> it's like we have to tell the monster the right answer or the monster attacks us. We got the answer wrong, and the monster attacked us. Um, and it was fun fighting the monster, but uh, <laughs> the riddle didn't do anything. <laughs> it was uh, it was a riddle that you would find in a riddle book. There was a there was a specific answer to it, um, and I'm not I'm not fond of that in the context of RPGs. Um, the story of the riddle is more interesting than the riddle itself. I think in that. Case. Um, it says, mages are tricky to use anyways. Remember how intrusive the maze of Quest for Glory 2 was? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there was... the. I mean, the desert in that was rough. And the... Uh, I, I would say the, you know, the the city... The city map was... At least you had... At least you had the map. But, uh, yeah, it was... Sometimes you had to figure it out and go places. Um, prophecies, you're saying, are similar but different. Um, prophecies are, to my mind, a slightly different animal. Um, you can use them. Helps to be vague. <laughs> the things, it's the things you give the prophecies about, I think. You want to, if you're going to give an image of a thing happening... Try to at least have some reasonable ability to, to think, okay, we can probably work this in somewhere. But maybe it won't look exactly as, you know, as, as prophesied. I think you can do them, and they can help for foreshadowing, but you want to keep it as foreshadowing and not foretelling. I think that's the important thing. Don't outright say the thing that's going to happen, because that may not actually happen. <laughs> You can hit at it. Um, there was, in the Urban Shadows campaign I ran, uh, we had an Oracle character who had several visions, and all I did was just basically give um, impressions. Imagery and impressions based on the things that the, uh, the villains wanted to do. Villains. Everyone's a villain in that setting. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the, the opposing forces, the threats. Um, things that... Uh, were desired by them, and, and that's why I presented that is not necessarily you're looking at a, at a camera image of what's going to happen. No, this was more you're getting this vague imagery coming through mist of these different things um, that are possible futures. And you also, it helps if you keep that to, you know, the idea that the future is not necessarily set. Um, so we can see the best laid plans by the GM survives. <laughs> yeah, no best laid plan by the GM survives. First contact with the PCs. Yes, absolutely. Yep, yep. That's uh, that's how it is. <laughs> no, no plan survives contact with the enemy, as, and uh, and no uh, no plan as a GM survives contacts with contact with the players. So yeah, no. I, that's why I just it's much easier and much less stressful if you just go into running a game, um, not just not knowing what the plan is. <laughs> you got some things. Just have some things. Have some things you can grab if you need to, but don't make an actual plan because that's that's the player's job, really, <laughs> to decide how to tackle the thing. Um, much easier. It, it 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 will make you a much happier person if you don't have to worry about that. That's all, that's all I can say. <laughs> in in my opinion. Um, but uh, therein. <laughs> There, and I think that's all I have to say for my for my uh, for my riddle rant. Thank you for reminding me. Um, just uh, I, uh, pe people don't like riddles as much as they think they do. That's all I think I can say, <laughs> and certainly not in the same way that they think they do. 
You can't just grab thing from uh, thing from one medium and just shove it wholesale into another medium. You have to you have to adapt it. You have to. All right, folks. Well, I think that's about all I've got uh, for this. So thank you all very much for watching. Um, we may try to uh, we may try to go say hi to somebody uh, in a moment. Uh, so feel free to hang on and say hi to them with us once we hit the end card. But uh, in the meantime, folks, thank you all very much for watching. Take care, and I will see you all of a sudden.